Hi everyone, welcome to yet another new vlog. Hope you all are safe and doing well. This weekend I made peri peri chicken in Nandu style. It's totally a unique flavor. Normally they barbecue it, but you can also make it at home in the pan. In my today's video, I'll be sharing this recipe with you. I also made two different peri peri sauces at home, which I'll be sharing with you. For dessert, I made apple cake with semolina and all-purpose flour in the non-stick pan. Again, it's a new recipe, so do watch it till end. You'll like it. It's been quite some time now going out and spending some time with family. So we went out this weekend and spent some nice time outside. We thought of dining at Nandu's, but then because of the crowds we couldn't get in there. So that's the reason I tried making this peri peri chicken in Nandu style. Well, we had some burgers and tried out some pizzas at Frankie's and Benny's. It was a different experience. They are good with their burgers. It's good to go out with family now and then and have some fun time. But at the same time, it's equally important to follow the safety measures cover your face and also maintain social distancing. So we enjoyed a Friday evening spending outside enjoying some food over there and the next day I tried making this peri peri chicken which everybody liked at home. I'll be sharing the recipe with you now. So initially I am taking one chopped capsicum which is red in color and also one chopped onion. It's good to use onion powder if you have at home. I am not having onion powder at the moment so I am using chopped onion and also two red chilies. This is to add the color. Uh, the, mainly the peri peri dish is all about using capsicum. Also adding some salt as per the requirement and adding some BBQ sauce into that I put some mixed herbs now adding two tablespoons of oregano and ginger garlic paste if you want you can add chopped ginger and garlic I am also using one packet of uh, chicken powder from the Maggie noodles one also adding two tablespoons of vinegar and required amount of olive oil into it you can use any cooking oil you want to now we will make it into a smoother paste after making the smoother paste we will remove certain amount of the paste and keep it aside this we will be using later to prepare the sauces now I'm taking the cleaned chicken drumsticks which I gave slight cuts on top of it so that when we marinate the spices and the masala goes inside it. So now we'll apply this red paste all over and marinate it at least for 30 to 40 minutes.
Now we'll take a wider pan, add some cooking oil to it. I'm again using olive oil. You can use any oil you want to. And once the oil is ready, we can start adding chicken pieces and start frying them in the low flame. Since we marinated the chicken with vinegar for more than 30 minutes, it gets cooked faster. We don't have to close the lid in the initial stage. Peri Peri is the name given to the pepper that is the capsicum by Portugal explorers in Africa. It's a famous African dish which Nando's has brought down and we all need to try it because it's very simple and the flavors are so unique and different especially when it's mixed up with this BBQ sauce, oregano and vinegar. You get a different exotic taste. So the peri peri chicken is all about making this unique mixture and applying it to the chicken, marinating it and frying it. So keep frying it in the low flame till the chicken is cooked very well. And it normally takes 15 to 20 minutes in the pan. And then your peri peri chicken is ready. We can now move on to make the sauces. Now as you can see, I'm going to make two different kind of sauces, one with curd and the other one with mayonnaise. So initially for making the curd sauce, I'm taking 3 4 cup of curd and adding 2 tablespoons of the peri peri masala which we initially made. Mix it properly and your curd sauce is ready. If you want, you can add some chopped onions and coriander leaves on top of it to give it an extra flavor. But this is awesome. This is one of my favorite sauces. Joe's and Aryan, they prefer the mayonnaise one, but I love this curd sauce. It's very good. Now same thing with mayonnaise, we'll take half a cup of mayonnaise and add the mixture, whatever amount we want to into this, one or two tablespoons as per the requirement and mix it very well. And your mayonnaise sauce, peri peri sauce is ready. Now here you can enjoy your peri peri chicken in Nando style with two flavored sauces. You can also make it into a gravy curry with whatever spices we mixed up. Together if you add into oil, close the lid. Without even adding any extra water, the chicken gets cooked in those flavors. And it's really yummy dish to have it with rotis and stuff. Now sharing with you the recipe of the apple cake. For that I am using 2 eggs, adding half a cup of sugar as per the sweetness requirement of our family. Also adding 1 tablespoon of baking soda, 1 tablespoon of baking powder, salt, half a cup of oil, half a cup of melted butter. I normally use butter for the flavor, it's very good for cakes. Also using half a cup of milk cream and also half a lime into it. I'm not using vanilla essence into this. The lime flavor goes very well with the fruits, especially apple and banana. Now whisk it very well. And now adding one cup of semolene and also one cup of all-purpose flour into it. Mixing it well without any lumps in it.
after mixing this mixture very well we have to close it and keep it aside at least for 30 minutes now we can chop the apples I'm peeling off the skin if you want you can use the skin as well make them into smaller pieces and keep it aside Sometimes it's really boring to have fruits in the regular way. So it's good to try these kind of new cakes and pies with fruits. I keep experimenting all this. Now we can add these apple pieces into the batter and mix it again very well. I applied some butter on butter paper and spread some flour around. Now spreading the batter into the non-stick pan. Now we'll place the non-stick pan on the stove and start cooking it in the low flame for next 25 minutes. It might take 30 or 35 minutes depending on the flames of your stove. I'm making it airtight using a soft towel but this is optional. You can directly close it with the lid of the non-stick pan. You need to observe the flavors very carefully. Once the cake is cooked, you get a beautiful flavor of these apples and the mixture. If you can see it's cooked properly now, it took just 25 minutes for me. If you let it cook for longer time, the bottom might get burnt off. Because we are placing it directly into the pan, we need to be careful and keep checking it in between. The beautiful tea time apple cake is ready now. You can enjoy it with your family. I hope you liked watching my today's video. Do give me your suggestions and feedback in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. Also, if you're watching my channel for the first time and if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel and also click on the notification bell at the bottom so that you'll be notified whenever I upload my new videos. Thanks for watching. Bye. See you in another vlog.